Kids and welcome to Mac Time. Today I've got some friends who've come to join us and be part of our Mac Time experience. And today I'm going to introduce you to Pikachu. Pikachu, what a beautiful smile you have. You look very, very happy today. We've got Lala over here, Mr. Potato Head and many, many others. And we're all using our listening ears and sitting nicely. Shall we sing the Mac Time song, Tamariki? Toru Ba. It's Mac Time, Kia ora, Talofa. It's Mac Time, a special time of day. It's Mac Time, just you and me together. It's time to say hello, g'day, ke te pehe kwe, ke te pai. I hope you're all having fun at home and doing lots of interesting things. You could be playing outside in the garden, baking with your family, uh, playing with all your cool toys and watching even the Just Kids YouTube. Uh, so now I'm going to pass you on to Ashley who's got something very exciting for you for this Mac Time experience. Ka kite. Thanks Chrissy. Hi Tamariki. I hope you're having a really good time in your bubbles with your family and I really miss you. Now you might be wondering why I'm wearing some rabbit ears. Well, it's just been Easter. Uh, we did an egg hunt and we had a lot of chocolate. I wonder if you guys did too. I also learned a new song about a rabbit and I wanted to teach it to you. So it's got some actions in. So I'm going to run you through the actions first and then sing the song. And the second time I sing the song through, hopefully you can do it along with me. So first we've got a cabin in the woods. The cabin has a window. Outside the window is a wee rabbit. And he comes knocking on the door. He says, help me, help me. I need a place to hide. And the person in the cabin says, come inside, I'll take care of you. So those are the actions. I'm going to sing it along. Maybe you can have a go. Okay, Toru Fa. In a cabin in the woods, a little old man by the window stood. Saw a rabbit hopping by, knocking at the door. Help me, help me, the rabbit cried. I just need a place to hide. Come, little rabbit, come inside. I'll take care of you. Pretty simple, pretty easy. I'm going to do it one more time and see if you can do it along with me. Toru va. In a cabin in the woods, a little old man by the window stood. Saw a rabbit hopping by, knocking at the door. Help me, help me, the rabbit cried. I just need a place to hide. Come, little rabbit, come inside. I'll take care of you. Now, I'm really looking forward to seeing you all super soon. And I hope that we can all practice that one together. Now, the other thing I've been doing a lot of while we've been in lockdown is reading stories. Now, I'm going to send you on to Unique, who's got a special story for you. Kakite Tamariki. Thank you, Ashley. Good morning, Tamariki. How are you this morning? I'm going to be reading you a story. Harry McCleary and Zachary Quack. It was drowsily warm with dozens of bees lazily buzzing through flowers and trees. Harry McCleary decided to choose a place in the shade for his afternoon snooze. He dozily dreamed as he lay on his back when... Pittery pattery, skittery scattery, zip! Round the corner came Zachary Quack. Who wanted to frolic and fottle and play, but oh, Harry McCleary skedaddled away. Oh, here he goes. Over the lawn and the asparagus bed went Harry McCleary to hide in the shed. He lurked in the shadows and the dusty and black, but. 
Skittery pattery, skittery scattery, zip round the corner came Zachary Quack. <laughs> out, uh, out of the garden and into the trees jumped Harry McCleary with springs in his knees. He hid in the grass at the side of the track, but you guessed it. Pittery pattery, zippery, skittery scattery, zip round the corner came Zachary Quack. Down to the river, through willow and reed, raced Harry McCleary at double speed. Into the water he flew with a smack butt. Pittery pittery, skittery skittery, zip, round the corner came Zachary Quack, who dizzily dived in the craziest way, swirling and swirling in showers of spray. Harry McCleary was off in a flash, a flurry of bubbles, a dog paddle splash. He swam to the side and floundered about. He tried and he tried, but he couldn't get out. Scrambling up and sliding down, when pittery pattery, skittery scattery, zip, through the water came Zachary Quack who sped around the corner and showing the way led Harry McCleary up, up and away. And then soggy and shivering back up the track went Harry McCleary with Zachary Quack. They're going together. It was drowsily warm with the dozens of bees let buzz, lazily buzzing through flowers and trees Harry McCleary decided to choose a place in the shade for his afternoon snooze. He dozily dreamed as he lay on his back, tacked up together with Zachary Quack. Well, Tamariki, I hope you enjoyed that story and I hope to see you guys real soon. Take care. Ka kite.